Тетяна Карабанец. Аниса Карабанец. Names of perished Ukrainians read one after another, followed by moments of silence. At the Alice Millar Chapel, Evanston and Northwestern community members pray for lives lost. Son, my darling, it's March 13th today, and we are still alive. Irina Patrick, a vigil organizer, read text messages sent from a Ukrainian mother in Mariupol to her son. It's so revealing of how much she loves her son. The day before the vigil, Patrick reunited with her own mother who went to Ukraine to take care of Patrick's grandmother. I wrote to my daughter, no matter what happened to me, be strong and follow your dreams. I love you very much. Kutkovska was relatively safe staying close to Lviv in western Ukraine, yet seeing the atrocity with her own eyes as refugees flooded into western Ukraine. How? Russian people who will who live together in the Soviet Union right now can kill, can kill us. What for? What for? After six weeks, Kukovska had to come back to the U.S. for work, but her mother refused to leave Ukraine. She said, this is my land. Kukovska took a video of her mother who kept saying, for Ukraine, for people, for liberty. This candlelight service was beautiful, so grateful that I got to be here, take part in it. The vigil organizer in Northwestern for Ukraine has raised more than $15,800, but they're not stopping. Although things are looking slightly better, there is still a war on Ukrainian soil, and the issue has not gone away. Prayer and love, remembering the bravery that lit up the night. Hannah Jiang, Northwestern News Network.